Okay, so now that we've done some recording with the Aurora, uh, we're gonna take the SD card and put it in the computer because now we wanna open it up in our DAW and start working with it, editing it, deliver it, whatever is gonna happen to it at this point. Okay, so we have the micro SD card in the computer. It's showing up here. Now, as we talked about, the way it's organized is that if you have a session, that's a folder, and within the session, you're gonna have individual WAV files, and those are what is called takes inside the Aurora. So now we wanna take these takes and or sessions and copy them over to the hard drive. Now, normally what you would do is just drag the whole folder over to where you want it to go. That takes a little while, so in the interest of time, I'm not going to do that. I'm just gonna grab one and drop it over to the desktop like so, okay? Um, now, I want to say a little bit about, it seems that when you have an SD card that's getting full, um, that you should just be able to delete files off of there to free up some space so you can keep going. Uh, you can't do that, okay? Uh, if you delete those files off of the SD card, you're going to have problems with the recording going on. It just affects the, the directory structure. So, like we talked about earlier, you can hide the takes if you don't want to see them anymore. But when you're ready to do something new, just copy everything over to the hard drive, reformat the disk, and start over again. That's the correct way to do it. Don't delete files off of the SD card, okay? Um, okay, so here we have one of the files, one of the multi-leave files. So again, to reiterate, this is a single WAV file, but it's got a bunch of tracks within it. It's an interleaved file. All of the major DAWs, Logic, Reaper, Pro Tools, uh, Sonar, uh, Cubase, all of them will handle interleave files, even the 64-bit that are over four gigabytes. Um, at least the current versions of those DAWs do. So just for the sake of example, I'm gonna open up Pro Tools and um, we're going to bring that file in just to, so you can see what it looks like when you, uh, when you deal with it. Also, uh, you should not drag and drop that file into a project in Pro Tools. You want to actually import it is the proper way to do it. Okay. Okay, so here we go in Pro Tools, and now we're going to go import audio. And it's right here on the desktop. And we're going to just add that and click Done. And we say we want to do a new track. And look what it does. It's expanding all of the audio out. And now we have a whole bunch of tracks. And it's ready to go. Most are blank, but uh, we do have audio in there as well. So that's the way you do it. And it's a very similar process with the other DAWs, with Logic and so forth. Now, Logic will do a single uh, multi-channel track when you import it. Some DAWs, like Reaper, will give you a choice. They'll ask, do you want a bunch of tracks, or do you want a single track that's just interleaved? So you could do it either way. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Now you're ready to work with the audio. Um, through this whole process, doing it on your own, if you have any difficulties, let us know. Um, we're happy to help, as always. That's why we're links. Um, but in the meantime, do some nice recording, and uh, thanks for watching the video.